Hey guys, so I thought I would show you guys like the prices I'm dealing with when I go grocery shopping and show you what I've been cooking so far. Usually I get like this bag of like lemons. It says it's, there's like no price over here, but then um, when I went to the front, I think it was like 6,000 and something. It's so about $6 for this bag, so it's actually kind of expensive, which is funny because I thought it was like this 4000 right here, but that is the mangoes. <laughs> But um, yeah, I usually get like lemon and then what else? So usually I get a head of cabbage too. The thing I really love about Korea is that they're really big. When I was in Japan, they were actually really, really small and like circular and they were really dirty a lot of times. So when you like clean it off, there's pretty much nothing left, but they get really big, even bigger than this. And the price is not that bad. So usually I get like a head of cabbage at least. So that's like that and like some lemons and then some more stuff. This is what I was telling you about the potatoes. I used to get some potatoes, but this is the bag of potatoes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Very, very small, and it is 7,990, so pretty much about $8. So yeah, I don't get potatoes anymore. I'd rather have more protein. Plus, it fills me up better than just potato starch. I don't even know why I was doing potatoes now that I think about it. I should have always done just more meat and um, tofu. But yeah. Um, no more potatoes anymore for my new batch of food that I cook. But we do get a bag of carrots. They're about 2,400. You get about three or four depending on which one. Um, one thing that I think Charlotte mentioned in one of the other videos that we did is that sometimes they're kind of white on the side. So it's like a little different. I don't, I don't know if that's more normal or not <laughs> um, because uh, I don't know. I've never had the... I've never seen it white on the side, not in Japan either. Um, I don't know if they were sitting longer or what, but um, or maybe they're just different, a different kind of carrot. Same carrot, but like a different, because it's in Korea, I don't know. But um, yeah, you usually get some carrots too. Um, somebody was telling me that usually sweet potatoes do better here because they add a lot of sweet potatoes to a lot of things that they cook. So they do have sweet potatoes and stuff, but I, I usually tend to just get, to get regular potatoes, but yeah, now I don't get that anymore either. I do get a bag of onions, it's about 3,580 yen. Um, I've had one bag since I've been here and it's been about almost three weeks, so I'm still doing good on the bag. I use onions and garlic in probably everything I do, which is like eggs in the morning and when I cook chicken and stuff at night, so there's a lot of different things I use onions for, but the good thing about it is it lasts a long time for me. My newest venture since I've been here is adding jalapenos, which is about 1,250. If you watch Let's Eat, they, they have these, I swear, like all the different restaurants they went to, but like, it seems like jalapenos are a big thing here. So I usually get um, the green peppers while I'm here, and I usually add those to my food, you know, and it's been making it amazing since I changed up. So I'm gonna have to show you guys my new style of cooking. As for tofu, I just do a basic one usually. This one just says soybean curds. So usually this is the one I get. Um, but they have different ones. Um, but I didn't know which one to try actually. But I saw some other people getting this. Maybe they just got it because it was cheap, the cheapest. But um, since I saw this, I started to get soybean curds. So yeah. Um, but I usually get like two of these in two packs of chicken. Um, I don't know if you guys know any other soy or soybean or tofu that you like, please let me know. And last but not least, chicken. I used to get like two of these. Like I said, everything is still a lot smaller for me than it was in um, America and nah, Japan it was probably about the same. About the same price um depending on where you live though but um yeah you usually get two of these two tofu jalapenos lemons garlic onions and that's generally what i use to make my new stew chicken and i'll just have to show that to you guys next
Ooh, and that is usually what I do on my way out of work. It's like 10 o'clock at night and I usually go shopping like right after so I can hurry up and get everything that I need and so forth. Um, and now I got like this big bag and I got stuff everywhere, <laughs> as you can tell. And that's one of the bags that they left me, so that's actually pretty cool. And then, now yeah, now I just gotta go home and cook. So if you see Paris Baguette, um, they sell actually some very nice bread, so usually that's where I get my bread. But this one doesn't have the one that I like. There's like a wheat bread that Charlotte introduced me to. Um, Paris Baguettes, they're like everywhere. But that one, particular one does not have the wheat bread that Charlotte um, gave me, so... I never really go there. Um, I went like twice, but they didn't have it. So now I'm gonna have to change it up. But since they're like everywhere, like I said, um, there's actually one next to my job, I think, or kind of close to my job. So I'm gonna go to that one instead. Um, when? Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> uh, besides that, the nightlife is actually pretty cool, but it's gonna take me some time to walk home. So let's get that started. out tonight and I got stuff to cook because I had planned to show you guys that and then I was gonna cook it anyway I was like I might as well just do it tonight since I'm at home so <laughs> um, and I gotta cook tonight anyway it'd be helpful um so I can have something to eat you know <laughs> so um let's start um I'll show you what I usually do and then yeah you can let me know what you think of the process
time to turn down the fire. Last but not least, the cabbage. But the cabbage doesn't go until like later. So I usually just cut it up and just set it inside of the juice. And then I just wait till this juice pretty much goes all the way out. Then I add the cabbage with that um, what seasoned juice um, to it later. And then yeah, once the, the cabbage, I mean like this cabbage. So it takes like two seconds to really um, soften pretty much. But yeah, that is pretty much it. I do love that I added the jalapenos to it because it just smells so good when you add the jalapenos to it. <laughs> pretty much done and then I cut up everything and that's going so um, yeah all we gotta do is just wait once majority of that juice goes down I can add the cabbage and this juice to it and then I'll show you the ending of how it looks once that goes down a bit I want to say that um, one of the good things about switching it up now is that I swear adding the jalapenos just gives it like the best smell ever. Um, I don't add jalapenos to too much anything. I've never really done that. Um, I used to eat them on the side some years back when I was like in like elementary school, middle school. My cousin um, used to stay with us for some time so she would always buy um, jalapenos. So we always ate jalapenos with like everything but then it stopped because then um, we didn't live with her anymore. Well, she didn't live with us anymore and so forth. Um, so I never really like added it anymore. But then when I went to the store and I saw it the other day, I was like, well, I'm not adding potatoes. And I was like, huh, let's try to spice it up with some jalapenos. <laughs> so that's why I started adding that. But then I kicked the potatoes to the curve because I felt like I would buy so many potatoes because I would want to cut them up and put them in. But it really wasn't doing much to me because Potatoes is just starch. It's not any protein or anything like that. And they cost about 8 or $9, I think I showed you earlier. Um, which a pack of chicken and is like about $6 um, for four. And we had the tofu, which is only $1. And all those has protein, which protein helps you get full. You know, and that's what I need because I usually work out too, so... I'm like, might as well just do that instead and just drop the potatoes. So I think that's pretty much the only thing I changed from what I did before. I think it's just the potatoes. But I feel like it just tastes so much different because of the jalapenos added and not the potatoes. Because I mean, potatoes usually, what is it? It, it absorbs all the salt, so it makes it makes whatever else is around it like watery so if you have seasoning in your um in your juice or whatever usually the potato will kind of suck that up so it, you know it'll generally like water down your food um depending on how much seasoning you actually put inside of it or whatever but i mean it still tastes good when it absorbs in the season but i was like um I'd rather get more protein than, you know, just a few potatoes, especially for like $10. Oh. <laughs> especially when I used to get like a huge bag every once in a while on sale with huge potatoes for like a dollar in America. Hopefully those were actually good. <laughs> but I mean, everything in America was a lot cheaper, which is funny because you don't realize that type of things until you like go live abroad. And um, I didn't know it'd be that much more expensive. Um, I showed you the prices of the stuff that I buy, but like, the fruits and, and so forth just like in japan they are a lot i think it was like 18 dollars for like a watermelon um and so forth which is generally the same as in japan because everything's imported but um i'm trying to change some things up since i'm here now and it's been working especially with the food um lately um and then hopefully i can go to some more restaurants and do some more cooking around that i can show you guys uh if i ever test out something new obviously the restaurants they would come when i'm out with with somebody <laughs> but um 
uh, cooking, I usually tend to do stewed chicken um, and rice uh, because it's good for my diet and um, yeah, I don't really too much care for eating like fast food or anything like that, but I do love hanging out with people and eating like at a small restaurant or so forth, mom and pop shop or something. So there's going to be a lot of those to come. Um, actually a lot with probably Sharla most likely. <laughs> uh, maybe some other people if I meet some new people along the way too. But uh, me and Sharla have a lot of plans to do different things so that's going to come to pass soon enough. Mm. So next would be just pretty much how it looks when it's finished. I'll show you that soon enough. So yeah, stay tuned. And this is it. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh wow, you're still here. Oh wait, don't forget to check the description box below. I put a lot of different things in there, like my lovely friends, my social media, just in case you want to catch up with me on Twitter or Instagram and so forth like that. So make sure to please check that out, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.